What's up, you guys? I have been asked about this particular look on a piece, and I haven't done it in a long time, but it was asked of me to figure out how it was done, and so I said, sure. So that is what I'm about to do. So to start, I have a white backed board, white backed, I painted it white. And I'm not worried about the outside right now. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was so out of focus. Wait, there we go. It'll focus better once I have something in camera. So I'm not worried about the outside of the board right now. It's just the inside that I'm particularly interested in working with. So I just put clear down. This is Stone Coat's new Speed Cure, and it's a fast setting epoxy. It's got maybe, oh, 20 minutes working time, and it has UV resistance. So it's kind of like they mix together Art Coat and their Quick Coat. I'm using it just because I'm going to be really impatient with this setting up. So, I'm going to be testing some of the Color Obsession tints next to some alcohol inks. Now, if you've watched my content for any amount of time, you know that I always say not to use alcohol inks and resin because they're not light fast or color fast. They're going to fade over time. And it may still be the case with the, these. Um, I don't know, but that's what I'm going to try with the dyes as well. Um, just to see kind of the difference in reaction while I'm trying to figure out how to do this look. Okay, so I'm just going to be kind of mixing and matching different um, alcohol inks and color obsession tints. This look is supposed to look like different kind of agate slices a little bit. Um, which I think will look really cool. I mean the original piece, ooh that one does, the Blue Lagoon is way thicker. So what I'm going to do because of that is I'm going to put some blending solution. Oh, oh, it's making it spread more than I thought it would. Oh, I'm just going to leave it going to test it, right? Hope that ends up being a circle. We'll find out together, I suppose. I'm just putting one drop down at a time. I'm not, I don't have any particular pattern in mind. I'm just kind of winging it. Because you know, it's my general style. I'm just going to rotate it a little bit, just in case my surface isn't level. So now that I have my first dots down, I'm going to add a secondary dot. I can see already that the tint is slightly different than the alcohol ink. It has like just some innate cells in it, it seems, whereas the alcohol inks are just dots. I don't know what that means. This is a test piece in every sense of the word. Oh, it works if you drop alcohol inks into the tints. It's got a different kind of ripple -y look than the other ones, so that's interesting. And it's kind of fuzzy on the outside. I'm gonna bring you guys down and show you up close in a little bit. So I'm just alternating what colors I'm dropping in the other dots. I may leave one of these um, just regular to see what it ultimately does if nothing else messes with it, if I don't use any other inks. I don't know what would happen, but I'm interested to see. 
Um, like I said, I have no like order that I'm dropping these colors. I'm just kind of picking a color and going for it. Can't remember if I should have put a blending solution on that last dot, but it's fine. I'm also not sure what would happen if I dropped um, just some this. Ooh, that opened up. I wish I got it more centered. Uh, there's can't be choosers, I suppose. Oh, no, I doubled. Sorry, I double dropped that one. I dribbled. And I also am not sure what will happen with um, what is that? The white, the Blanco Blanco or the brass. I'm just trying to dry off some of the liquid sitting on the surface and I'm re-thinning out my epoxy because the speed cure is going to cure up really on like the quicker side and I don't want um, that to keep my little slices from growing so you need to keep your resin on the liquid side. I hope that makes sense. Okay so let's drop some Blanco in some of them and see what happens. This is uh, Jacquard Blanco Blanco. Actually I'm not going to do that one because it's got um, the blending solution. If my memory serves me correctly, the white doesn't like blending solution. But also, I could be wrong. Often, I'm wrong. Well, semi off. Every once in a while, I am wrong. Today could be one of those things. Let's do just a white dot. See what that does. Cute. I think it'll end up looking fun. I just have to figure out what my game plan is, I think. I'm not looking for the sinking look. I'm just looking for growing circles. kind of relaxing even though I feel like I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I also am having a good time just kind of figuring it out, just semi-winging it, but also I have something that I'm going for. Ooh, it's, some of these look odd, like this one here, and some of them look really rad, so I don't know. I don't know what the, like, the fix is. I need to just get like one of those medical dropper things so that I don't do that. That's okay. This is just a test anyways. I still can't remember which ones have the blending solution or not, so we're just gonna go for it. Also, when the pups' dad gets home, they're probably going to bark, so I apologize. Okay, I, I know I said I was going to do some of the brass. This is my favorite metallic that is an alcohol ink. This is metallic particle. It will not evaporate or faint or faint. It's been a day, y'all. I have to go deal with my car today, so that's exciting. Ooh, maybe I can change where the center of this is. Can't have all of it on one side, so let's. Maybe we'll have just one that's gold. Wait. I don't know where it was, but. Um, 
I am digging how this piece is looking. And then essentially, like tomorrow, I would come back in and add another layer. Let me see what just a blending solution will do. I don't know why I didn't think that the blending solution would disperse. Because it would have to have some kind of alcohol in it. be used with alcohol inks. I assume, I don't know, I have no idea. I don't know the science. But it's interesting how all of them are kind of different in terms of how they're growing out, even though it's all just one drop that I'm putting into all of them. It's interesting. Maybe I'm the only one that thinks that's interesting. Let me know in the comments. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sometimes I'll start singing when I get excited about something. Um, and by singing, I mean just humming. So that is an interesting looking little starburst. And then this one's kind of like going out and coming back in, but looks like petals. It's just interesting how different they all are when essentially the only difference is the color and the order that I've dropped the colors. And so I also now at this point I'm wondering if I do one that's the exact same order, which the only one I can remember is this one right here is white, golden, pink. And I wonder if it will look the exact same as like this one, for example. So I'm going to test that in a moment. It's all just so interesting how sorry, it's not moving that much, so I need to heat it up a little bit. I can't remember where I was going with that, but if it comes back to me, I'll let you know. All right, one of that. I also wonder if how quickly I drop the pigments in, if that would change anything. So I'm going to be also testing that to see if there's something that I missed. If there's something I need to adjust. Have you guys seen artwork like this before? I can't remember. I don't think there was a name in the photo reference that was sent to me, so I'm not exactly sure. Um, who the inspiration was by, but it was beautiful. And if you've seen work like this, I want to know, and I want to know what you think about it. It looks really interesting, that one. Oh, it's like turning into a star kind of pattern. I also have Marabou, which I'm thinking about trying a couple drops of just to see what drops because it was two drops that came out. Maybe we'll drop some into some of these. Maybe the ones that are less fun looking at the moment. Ooh. Let's see what happens with that. Oh, the ink falls differently. to the marabou than it does in, on any of the other ones. I think, let's try the uh, this one. That kind of just sinks in there. 
Interesting. So this is why it's so important to kind of like do your own little test pieces just to see, because you never know what something's gonna do even if you've seen someone else completely do what you had in your brain. Your materials or your techniques or whatever it is that you're doing, it may change how something reacts. So I always am a big fan of try, just try it. You never know, so just give it a go. Give it a go. Apparently, I like how the white looked because I just added it to a few pieces. It looks fun in some, and some it's not. I don't know what that means, though. Mm. Oh, marabou dots look fun. Ooh, I wonder what the marabou looks like dropped into the white. So we'll do boop of white. Sorry, I keep hitting the that. My hair. Ooh. So marabou just is its own beast. I love it for so many reasons. Okay, so okay. I like what that looks like. Firework goes off. Interesting. Huh. So tell me, kids, have you try to do something similar. Oh my goodness, I just put resin all on the top of this. I promise, my brain is not gone. It might be. Dealing with car stuff. No. I like the white and the yellow and the pink. I wonder. It seems like it kind of plays a little bit more if you drop it right into each other right away. It gives that kind of starbursty look, whereas if you let the bloom or ring or whatever kind of grow out and then add the dots, it doesn't really do that, it seems. I wish I could add half the amount of that gold. I'm gonna see if I can figure that in my brain at some point. That looks nice. Anytime I use alcohol or alcohol-based things, it always looks really good at some point and then it just keeps going and going and going and there's sometimes no way to stop it. But I wish I could a lot of times just freeze what I'm looking at just in time. Another trick for this is going to be to make sure that your space is completely level because mine is not. It is rolling to the back. So I can see in some areas where there's like trails. I just dropped something right in. Fun fact, this resin is already starting to set because it's not letting me um, pick that up out of the piece very easily. So that is interesting. So that means I don't have to worry about things moving or not moving for too much longer. Because 
it's starting to thicken. Which I think is going to help keep some of this design where it is. Some of these I just feel like it needs something, but I don't know what. Yeah, it's not moving very fast at all. So maybe my idea of using the quick set was not the best idea. But also, sometimes you just gotta learn something from what you're doing. And I think that may be what this is, but I'm still interested to see what you guys think. Sorry about the focus. So let me, I think I'm not gonna drop any more in. I'm, believe I have run out of the time that it's going to let me uh, use. So let me change the focus on this so I can show you for real what it's looking like. I think it looks super fun, but I'm beyond interested to know what you guys think. Nope. Very much no. Okay. I think that's it. I think that is as focused as we're going to be able to get it. Maybe it's because it's so bright. Hold on. Go with that. Some of them look really interesting, like that guy. And some of them just escape. And I'm pretty sure this one is because I did it later in the process. So the ones that are kind of like splaying open like this. I think it's because I did it so late in the curing process. What I'm going to do ultimately is over, ooh, that one looks quite sloppy and scary. I'm going to do another layer of resin on it. I really like this one. Not so much the color, but how it looks kind of deep. So I'm going to add another layer of resin and do this process again so that this, um, at first I was saying it was like geodes, but now I think they're just like a little bit like amoebas. But anyways, I'm going to, this one looks fun. I think, I think this one's my fave. So what I'm gonna do is let it live until it's cured, do another coat of resin, add, um, whoops, turn around that, add some more of these dots that are kind of overlapping, and then see what it looks like. It may be amazing, may not be, but I'm here for it either way. I gotta go get to my car. Hopefully they don't give me any more runaround. So I will see you guys tomorrow for a live kind of part two to this amoeba nation, whatever it is. What do you guys think I should call it? Maybe seeing in a minute? Nope, we're not going with that because I can't even see it. And it, and it, see, we don't need to laugh at me. We can laugh at me. Uh, I'm trying to find the ISO buy can. Oh, here it is. So yeah, you guys are amazing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, were entertained or otherwise educated on either what to do or what not to do. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's
live. Hopefully it will be fine. No not give me more issues. But anyways, love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I uh, get this resin from stonecoatcountertops.com. It should be out by now. You can also get it from rk3designs.com. I will carry it if you guys have interest. Just let me know down in the comments below. If you order from Stonecoat, use code YALL, Y-A-L-L, -L, all caps, no punctuation, to get, I think it's 15% off. And it really helps me out. I get a little teeny tiny kickback and girls got bills. So, anyways. You guys have an amazing Thursday, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be kind to one another, because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember that we do the test so you don't have to. I was looking to see if Bowie was in the shot, and he is. He's right there. You see him? Bowie? Bowie, what are you doing? Are you adorable? You can come say hi? No, come here, say hi. This is my little chunk. This is why I work hard. So he can have everything he ever wanted. Oh, I wanted to show you guys also. A piece that I've been working on. It looks like this. I'm going to make it more white. Oop. I just dropped a headphone. It's fine. I'm going to make it more white um, and then add gold to the high points because it is a texture piece. I did film it so I'll be able to show you guys the whole process but let me know if you want it to be a time lapse or really really deep instructional. So let me know what you guys prefer because I want to post what you guys like. Anyways I'm rambling probably because I'm just putting off going to the dealer now. Anyways love you guys. See you tomorrow. Subscribe.